Hey guys, I want to show you this RC boat bag that I just finished building. Um, I've been having a problem getting the boat and all the tools and all the gear that I need to the water easily. So I wanted to build something to protect the boat and get all my supplies there. Uh, I'm going to give you an uh, overview of this bag real quick and then I'll show you how to build it. So the bag is pretty well built. Uh, heavy duty zippers and material. I didn't build the bag of course, but uh, it's nice and fur lined. This is my new Pro Boat Verocity 36 that I'm enjoying. Um, this bag is 48 inches wide and the boat is 36 inches wide. So it's got a little bit of room on the ends, not a whole lot, but you can see that it's held down with these elastic Velcro straps. And it works really well, keeps the boat from moving around. Um, and then underneath, I've got a bunch of tools. So I'm gonna take the boat out and you can take a look. So inside the bag, you can see the bunks that the boat rests on down here. And there's tools and props in this case down here. Um, the LiPo bags fit well in the ends. They actually can tuck up underneath here like that. Keeps them, keeps them at the end of the bag. And just, just works really well. The elastic straps run underneath the, the bunks and then around the boat and it just keeps the boat from sliding around. Um, this setup works really well because the boat doesn't get banged up when you're transporting it and everything fits in one bag. Leaves you with a free hand. So this bag is made by Stag and it's a PSB 48. So it's 48 inches wide. It's made for musicians and, and band members uh, for all their gear. I bought this particular bag because I wanted the width. Uh, the Verocity is a little bit wider than some other boats. Um, whenever you're deciding on a bag, make sure that you subtract a half inch from each side, so a total of one inch from the width of the bag to account for the frame. So the Verocity is 36 inches long, plus about four inches that stick out the back with the rudder and the prop. And personally, I would not want a shorter bag for, for this size boat. You could get away with it but it's nice to have just a little extra room for for lipos on the ends or just whatever gear you have so now that i have everything out of the bag you can see it a little more clearly the bunk setup that i'm using is adjustable so you loosen these thumb screws down here and then the bunks will slide together and that will let you run uh, catamaran hulls in here so you can use it for multiple hull types uh, it's spread a little bit for the v right now works really well but if you push these together, you should be able to get a four inch wide tunnel at the minimum on there. Um, if you need it to be smaller than that, you could cut the T's here, cut the sides off and that would allow it to slide together more. Um, so pretty flexible setup. So here you can see the frame outside of the bag. It's a lot easier to see when it's not in the bag. I'll put a parts list in the description below. This is made out of half inch PVC. It's easy to find. You get it at your local hardware store. Should be able to find it just about anywhere. Uh, I'm gonna disassemble this and we'll go step by step how to build it. So take your bag. You can see how floppy it is without a frame in there. And measure from one corner in the back to the other corner. And in this case, it's an actual dimension of about 46. So you take that 46 and subtract an inch total. That's half inch from each side. That accounts from, for the uh, fittings in the corners. So you, in this case, you would cut a 45 inch long piece of PVC. So once you have that cut, you need these 90 degree side outlet elbows. You can see they've got, it's, it's made specifically for a corner. So put those on each end, get them, get them pretty lined up, and then this test fit it. What you want is for it to be snug in here, but you don't want it to be too tight. You don't want it to be straining the seams of the bag. So in this case, I've already got this built, so it fits well. If it's too tight, cut about a half inch off and retest it. After you do that back one, you should be able to cut three more, one for the other bottom and then two for the top of the same length. Then you just need to figure out the in other internal dimensions here, just measure and again, cut the length and then put the, put the elbows on and test fit it. 
like this. And when you're satisfied, build the other, full, the other two sides and put that in there and see how tight it is, see if you need to make any adjustments. And then you just need to do the height, measure that, cut, put another elbow in here, and before long, you've got the whole rectangle built. So at that point, you will have the full rectangular frame built for the bag. Um, yours will not have these T's in here yet, so just picture them without that. Uh, you need to figure out how long you want your bunks. My particular bunks are 30 inches long, and that will determine where you want your crossbars to be, where these T's will go. Um, so figure out your bunk width and center that in the bag. So in other words, this dimension here is the same as this dimension. So these are, these are centered. When you figure out your T locations, mark, make a mark on the PVC right here, and you wanna cut out a half inch on each side of that mark. So you wanna cut out a one inch piece here. That allows uh, for the T to fit in here and still have the same overall length. So again, make a mark and then cut out a half inch on each side of that mark. Do the same for all four of these locations. After you cut these bars, insert your T's on all four, so you're back to this configuration, and put it inside the bag and make sure it fits. Again, you don't want it too tight, so you just need to test fit it. After you test fit it and you get the T's in here, um, you need to cut two more pieces of half inch PVC that are this same length here. Uh, that will be for the crossbars. And it just will fit in there like that, but we don't need to put it in quite yet. Here is one of the T's that I have modified to fit the bunks. Um, you take a Dremel and you Dremel out the inside of this T so that it will slip over a half inch piece of PVC. And that's what allows the bunks to move side to side and adjust to whatever type of hull you have. After you have it so that the half inch PVC can slide through easily, you wanna take a 13 64th drill bit and drill through one side. Um, then I use quarter 20 thumb screws and just, just screw them in there and the thumb screw itself will tap the plastic and create threads. After you've got all the T's dremeled out so they slide, you can assemble the crossbars. Um, then you'll need some just real short pieces of half inch PVC as connectors in here. Then just take your tape measure and measure between these T's. That will give you an actual dimension that you can cut your bunk lengths on. Here's one of the bunks that I use. This is foam pipe insulation with a three quarter inch wall. Uh, this is listed to work for half inch copper and PEX. Uh, it's not listed for a half inch PVC, but it fits really tight on here and it's a smaller diameter than the other sizes. So you might want to test that in the store. But anyway, you just need 90 degree elbows on each side and just insert it on to the T's like that. And that's, that's their bunks. And the last piece of the puzzle are these elastic Velcro straps. Um, they're real soft, so they don't scratch the finish of the boat. And uh, these are 27 inches long. And I bought these at Walmart, but I've also seen them at Lowe's, so you can get them different places. They just run underneath the bunks and around the boat. And then the Velcro folds back onto itself and holds the boat on there. But anyway, this setup has really made my boating a lot more fun. It's just a lot easier to get to the water, not forgetting things. The boat's not getting banged up. So I figured you guys might like it. If you guys have any questions about this build, please let me know. I appreciate you guys watching. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing.